And welcome back. It's time once again to travel in Tom's Wayback Machine for one of my favorite segments, Turtin' Back Time. <laughs> that wasn't as easy as you might think. Oh. Be back with Turtin' Back Time. And I have some Advil at my desk for you later if you need oh, it. Oh, okay. thanks. You think I need Advil? Here we go. July 27, 1377. <laughs> The city of Ragusa, now known as Dubrovnik, on the Adriatic Sea, passes the first legislation requiring the mandatory quarantine of all incoming ships and caravans. It required all those coming from plague-infested areas to spend 30 days, that was known as a trentine, in isolation. In 1448, this was extended to 40 days, called a quarantena, which is the origin of the modern day word quarantine. Hmm. This was during the time of the bubonic plague, which resulted in 75 to 200 million deaths. Quarantine was a real good idea back then. It sure was. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to Jerry Van Dyke, born in 1931, American actor, uh, brother of Dick Van Dyke, known for various roles throughout his career, such as Luther on the television show Coach, from uh, 1989 to 97. He was also the, the lead actor, the main actor, in what is considered by some to be the worst sitcom of all time. It was called My Mother the Car. Never heard of it. Yeah, Ann Southern was the voice of like this old uh, Model T or Model A, whatever it was, like reincarnated back to a car. Hope it's on YouTube. It, it, Probably is. I think. July 28, 1945, a USB-25 bomber crashes into the 79th floor of the Empire State Building. Fourteen people were killed, including the pilot and two crew members. A female elevator operator survived a 75-story elevator plunge, which, ridiculously enough, is the Guinness World Record for longest survived eleva elevator fall. It was a routine personnel transport mission where the pilot, ignoring zero, zero visibility warnings due to fog, turned right instead of left after passing the Chrysler building. Happy birthday to Earl Silas Tupper, born in 1907, inventor of Tupperware in 1942. Used the neighborhood party method to sell his product. July 29, 1993, ground is broken for the first memorial in Washington, D.C to honor women's military service. It honors 11,500 women who served in, the Viet in Vietnam and the 265,000 who served during the war. The Vietnam Women's Memorial is dedicated on November 11th, 1993. Happy birthday to Theda Berra, Theodosia Burr Goodman. Born in 1885, American silent film actress known as The Vamp for her femme fatale roles and is often cited as the first sex symbol of the movies. She played the title role in the 1917 version of Cleopatra. July 30th, 1923, Italian actress Eleonora Duge becomes the first woman featured on a Time magazine cover. She is considered one of the greatest tragic actresses of, the modern, of modern time, and she was also the first Italian featured on the cover. Happy birthday to Arnold Schwarzenegger, 1947, actor, governor of California from 2003 to 2011, Mr. Universe from 1968 and to 70, Mr. Olympia from 1970 to 75 and 1980, Pumping Iron, Conan the Barbarian, The Terminator, you, you, you know all the others anyway, okay. <laughs> July 31st, 1976, NASA released the famous Viking One face on Mars photo. Yeah, chalk this one up to uh, periodolia. I think that's what it's called, the, the psychological phenomenon that causes people to see patterns in random you know, stimulus. Think, uh, oh, that cloud looks just like, and then you fill in the blank. That looks like a face, though, for real. Yeah, that's, weird. That's, that's it. And happy birthday to Ted Cassidy, Theodore Crawford Cassidy, born in 1932, six feet nine inch actor known best as Lurch on The Addams Family, television show from 64 to 66. He also played Thing, by the way. Hmm. He also voiced the growls and roars in the opening narration for The Incredible Hulk. 
And finally this, what word in the English language is spelled wrong more than any other word? I don't know. Wrong. And that wraps it up for another thrilling edition of Turton Back really? Time. <laughs> Turn